All right, pay raises could be on the way for some of you out there in the new year. But a new survey found annual raises in 2024 might be slightly lower than they were in 2023. The average raise is expected to be about 4%, and that's nearly half a percent less than last year. It's also higher than what was seen in years prior, though. All right, for more on this, we're joined by Laurie Whisper. She is the Managing Director of Work and Rewards Global Solutions at Willis Towers Watson, a British-American insurance company. Love to hear it. Um, glad to have you with us. And so folks will be on Thank the edge you. of their seat, already experiencing inflation and thinking, OK, I'm not getting a raise like I did last year. So what does this 4% raise really mean in real current terms? Yeah, we are seeing a bit lower than in 2023 actuals. These are projections for mm. 2024. Um, but the the amount that um, employers increase base salaries is really driven by the job market, not as much inflation. I know that buying power for all of us is affected by both those increases and inflation, but employers pay attention to the supply and demand of labor. And so the job market is what drives those pay increases. The job market is still extremely healthy, um, but it is it has slowed down quite a bit um, since the heydays of 2021 and 2022. Uh, Lori, you know, there isn't a person around that that wouldn't want a pay raise. Um, but tell us what this uh, this latest data indicates about growth in certain industries and the future of workplace growth. Yeah, the, like I said, the job market is still very healthy here in, in the U.S. Job creation is still on the rise. We're still seeing very good numbers, um, but it has slowed down. And the, you know, the economy is a driver of that. There are certain industries, as you're saying, that are still seeing hot demand for jobs um, where the increases might be closer to what they were in 2023. Um, oil and gas, that industry always pays richly, and we saw increases in 2023 that did exceed the 4.4 um, average. On the other hand, retail is always a bit lower, where those um, average increases were closer to like 3.9 in 2023. Mm. So you can see variation by industry, but the average person is probably going to experience a pretty close to 4% increase for, for the coming year. So, Laurie, let's which just... Which is more. Yeah, and so let's wrap with some news folks can use. We already had a graph showing that wages are calculated by inflation and the job market, but how can folks who are seeking a raise, let's say, in the next six months, make a winning argument? What are the advantages that they should push? Yeah, I mean, the, the winning argument comes from contribution, um, right, more than cost of living or inflation. Uh -huh. What are you contributing to your organization and how can you do contribute even more, right? Um, people, employees are always looking for growth, which is a great thing for companies as well. But as you grow, organizations are willing to pay you more because they're going to expect that greater contribution. All right, Lori Whisper, thank you. Thank you, Lori. Thank you.